All right, everybody, in this video, I'm gonna show you why you may wanna take your stock RV battery and for not too much money, may wanna consider upgrading to two six volt batteries, so stay tuned. All right, everybody, welcome to another episode of Unique Adventures, where we go over all things travel, camping, cruising, destination, everything in between, tips and tricks to help make your travel easier. And today, we're talking about upgrading your RV batteries for the cheap so you have just gotten home with your brand new trailer you're like cool i'm gonna go dry camping i'm gonna go boondocking i want to go exploring and all the things you're probably going to have a one battery one 12 volt battery just similar to this on your trailer and it's not got a terrible amount of power and i think the reason why you don't see rv dealerships putting a lot of money into batteries is probably the main reason is cost and two they don't know how you actually are going to be camping are you going to be hooked up to rv campgrounds or are you going to be doing more dry camping and boondocking so this battery here and this is probably something typical that you would see this is actually a sealed battery you don't have to do any maintenance on it which is awesome uh, this is a centennial dp 24 mf battery and this guy is actually rated for 65 amp hours of power and you're probably thinking wow that's pretty good 65 amp hours well not really so much and let's kind of break that down a little bit so you've got 65 amp hours of power at full capacity now as uh, you take this thing down this battery you can only safely take it down to 50 percent of its capacity if you take it down any farther than that, you will actually destroy the life cycles in these batteries. They will die a lot faster and you'll be replacing batteries um, a lot more regularly. So that's why it's imperative that you don't get below that 50% rating on these batteries. So you're taking that 65 amp hours of battery power, you only got 32 and a half amp hours. Now, now what is that actually gonna run? it's not going to run a whole lot it may run your furnace overnight power your lights and you know keep your propane fridge you know you know going and stuff like that you may be able to get a night out of that um, i'm not too terribly sure but probably not much more than that before needing to recycle and throw a generator on it and actually charge those batteries back up now what are your options like okay i've got this battery but i gotta do something this isn't gonna cut it for me i gotta upgrade so what you can do is you can get another one of these batteries one of your stock batteries and put it on there and and hook it right into the system get another battery box and run it so then you would go up to 65 usable amp hours then doubling your amp hour capacity now these batteries that i had on my trailer uh initially when we bought it they were, I think they're, they cost right now, I think it's 100 to $125 a piece. I think somewhere in that ballpark. So you would, you would pay an extra 125 bucks and you double your amp hours. That's awesome. You'll be, you know, you might be able to get two nights out of that. But what if you want more than that? What if that just isn't gonna cut it? Then you bring in your six volt systems now there are multitude of different um, manufacturers of six volt batteries the cool thing with six volt batteries is they're typically used in golf carts and forklifts and heavy machinery they're made to wear down and bring back up and wear down and bring back up that's their purpose in life so they are perfect for rv travel and kind of what that entails you know using that power down bringing it back up now with this battery, you still have to abide by the 50% depth of discharge rating. You can't go over that. Um, and there are plenty of different vendors that, or manufacturers that sell these. You got the big ones like Deca and Trojan. Um, but these batteries actually come from Costco. Um, and most of any Costco will probably have them. These are um, interstate batteries. These are GC2s. I believe they cost under $100 a piece. So for $200, you're 
you can upgrade these batteries. Now you're asking, well, why do you need two of them? Well, a six volt battery, you need to hook up in series to make a 12 volt system. So you're making essentially one big 12 volt battery out of this. And you're gonna take a lead wire and go between one of the negatives and one of the positives to make that system work. So essentially this is gonna act like one big battery. And how much power are these gonna have? 210 amp hours in this setup. Now mind you, there are six volt batteries that go higher than this. Some of them up to like 230, 240 amp hours. You're gonna pay a lot more for those. This is just getting you into the game. This is a really good value for under $200 or right around $200, you can get you know, that 210 amp hours, which will actually equate down to 105 amp hours of actual usable power. Now you're gonna need the little cable and you're gonna need to upgrade your battery boxes because as you can see here, they are not the same height. They won't, um, they won't fit in those old boxes. The one thing that you will also wanna make sure of is that wherever you're sticking these on the outside of your trailer, make sure you've got enough height clearance to actually stick these things in there and uh, be sufficient with that. But these are a great option. I personally would not recommend doing another 12 volt battery because you're only going to get up to that 65 amp hours of usable and for maybe another 70 80 dollars you can get this system and you can go up to two to three times that where you can go from 65 amp hours all the way up to 105 an extra 40 hours 40 amp hours of power these should definitely get you through a weekend and if you're using some inverter use you might be able to you know maybe go a day and a half maybe a couple of days we've actually had this setup in our trailer for the last three years it has been awesome these batteries haven't had any issues we keep them, you know, trickle charged in the garage during the winter time because you have to you have to keep them um, up to speed. You don't want them to drain down and stay down. The only other thing is also is is that they're a maintenance battery, so you actually have to make sure that the the water levels are filled properly, and then if they're not, you got to make sure to fill them up with distilled water or the batteries are gonna corrode and they're not gonna last as long. They're gonna to start to sulfate and you're, you're not gonna get the battery power that you think you're getting. So definitely wanna make sure to stay on top of that. But for the money, if you wanna take that 35 amp hour system and you know increase that by like 200%, the golf cart batteries are the way to go. Uh, definitely for sure. Uh, we took these batteries out to uh, Wyoming last summer. We were out there for five days on these batteries and had intermittent uh, generator use mostly just to run our big ticket items in the house or in the in the trailer like our uh, like our microwave for a couple minutes or if we had to run the AC for a couple hours just to kind of cool the trailer down. Other than that, we didn't really use the generator for power much, which was pretty awesome. So these are definitely the cheap option of looking at increasing your battery power from boondocking, dry camping, uh, all that stuff. So definitely, if you've got questions about this or about your setup or whatnot, feel free to drop a comment uh, here down in the chat here or in the in the bottom here uh, let's talk about it uh, I can help you guys out with uh, going through scenarios and stuff like that if you got questions or let me know how your uh, how your system is doing are you running two six volt batteries are you running more 12 volt batteries let me know in the comments below um, but uh, also make sure if you haven't yet hit that like button hit your subscribe button make sure you are notified when we do DIY uh, you know, videos trying to help you guys out with all things travel. And uh, I guess until then, we'll see you guys in the next video.